That's right, we're in this 9,300 square foot facility home to Team Wit Customs. Now get this, the owner, Kirby Wit started his first shop when he was only 17 years old. And we'd end up getting jobs from, you know, a friend or, you know, we were so young, so it'd be like maybe a friend's parent or a neighbor. So we started wrenching on those just kind of by accident. When I was 17, I started my first shop. I thought, well, I'll probably go back, you know, work at the grocery store or whatever. My dad had a storage unit. He didn't use the front third of it. And I just kept getting side work in. I kept putting off getting a real job. I was making more money. I just decided to, you know, hey, I can, I can do what I love to do and, you know, make more money doing it. Here at Team Wick Customs, most of the cars they do are muscle cars, actually 80%, including this awesome 1970 Cuda with a stroke 511 under the hood. This car is epic. Right now we have um, a lot going on, several big projects. We have a 68 Camaro that we've turned into, you know, more doing a ground up on, um, complete paint, engine, drivetrain, suspension. Our biggest build is the 70 Cuda we call Bruiser. That car is just completely custom from head to toe, pushing about 750 horsepower. And that one is, is gonna be something, you know? That's the, the really high-end custom performance car we're putting out. We have my projects, Roadrunner we're gonna make a Superbird out of, of course a customized one. And we have some smaller jobs too. We also will do piecemeal stuff, like if someone wants to do metal work or someone wants us to change out their, the engine in their car. We have a Trans Am in here that we're replacing the subframe on. We're doing a bunch of mechanical work. It actually was in a collision. Um, we're fixing the damage on the front end on that. One of the more interesting builds has gotta be this one. Up high, you have a 68 Jeep. Down below, you have a Toyota 4Runner and they're putting them together. I mean, how hard can that be? So the problem is um, when you put uh, the Jeep body on, the front of the fenders are up here. Mm -hmm. and the wheel isn't centered in the wheel opening. And that don't look good. No, <laughs> not at all, unless you're building a cartoon car. Uh -huh. So once we moved, open this up, move the, uh, the back of the wheel opening back, then the front of the fender looks like it's 10 foot long. Nice. You know? So it's a game of inches, right? So we have to figure out how to move this back and leave enough room here for clearance for the radiator, radiator the fan and before it's into the motor. Z28, we're waiting to have the interior done now, and it was a neat story. The owner bought it new. He and his wife dated in that car. His wife called us up and said, you know, it's our somewhere around 40th wedding anniversary, and can't think of anything he'd want more than have this car done. That's one that's really special to us. Did a 67 Fastback, put the Eleanor kit on it, and you know, painted all this deep maroon. Team Wit has a unique claim to fame. It's pretty cool too. It involves Nudie's Honky Tonk in downtown Nashville and a Cadillac Eldorado. And we get this call and it's actually Nudie's personal car. And they say, we want to have his car shipped to you. Remove all the weight you can. Engine, transmission, convertible top, you know, all those glass, all those heavy things. But so it still looks complete and then we're gonna hang it on the wall down at Nudie's Honky Tonk. But we got to get that car ready, go down, talk with the engineers, figure out, you know, what type of structure is gonna be the best to hook to this car, to hook it to the wall, coordinate with them how to, you know, Cadillac is a long car, you know, taking this little space, turn it sideways, and then get it vertical hanging on the wall. So it's kind of neat, you know, if we get down there, if people come in town and they wanna do the tourist thing, we go, hey, go in there and check out that car, you know, we help make that happen, you know? These guys make some awesome cars and trucks, and remember, they're hiring. <laughs>